Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Keith Allen from Pro Guys. Today, we're going to be showcasing the infamous Vivid from Team Liquid. Vivid is an insane mechanical player who results speak for themselves. Honestly, it's upsetting he doesn't get more viewers on Twitch. And before you guys say anything about the grappler, I know that it's not, you know, in the game anymore, but there's still a lot of valuable things to learn from this clip. Let's jump right into it and find out why Vivid wins so much. In a high point lobby, Vivid chooses a remote landing spot. I've noticed that Vivid always avoids 50-50s in the early game. He knows his strength and his late game prowess. Look at what Vivid does. He doesn't W key his opponent right after he grabs a weapon. He needs more information. He waits to gauge out the number of enemies that landed and their locations. He hears multiple enemies land and knows if he pushes one, there's a chance that a third party would ruin his game before it even began. While a ton of players would have just pushed immediately after just two hits, it's interesting to see how Vivid pushed. You can see Vivid's methodical approach to the game with this single kill. He looks to avoid taking unnecessary damage whenever possible. Vivid taught me a lot about patience. Even if it was just a few players landing with him, he still waited for the opportune time to strike. Watch how Vivid takes this next fight. He never gives up high ground, something that you and I do far too often. Look at where he's standing. His enemy has no chance to take high ground from him. Vivid's main calling card is his methodical and intelligent approach to the game. He's a textbook player through and through. Even with the surprising edit from his opponent, Vivid plays it cool and earns his third kill. I want to highlight something Vivid's opponent did before we move on. Vivid was reading a book. He countered his opponent's high ground push with floors as you're supposed to. The enemy knew better. He coned on top of the floor so Vivid couldn't make a quick play. His opponent made a great play, but he just lost a 50-50. Hey, it happens. Right when landing, Vivid immediately builds, but watch how much he actually builds. Right when he gets to high ground, Vivid fights. He doesn't screw around or waste any time. He doesn't drop down until he sees the enemy disengage, looking to heal. Let's see how Vivid plays this annoying turtle. Sure, he messed up the wall replace, but everything looked clean. He literally didn't take a single point of damage. My man Vivid is always in control. Pay attention to this trade shot. His opponent is low. Even if Vivid technically loses the trade, he still wins. He lands a nice shot and pushes again. His opponent is in full panic mode now and literally takes the coward's way out. Vivid sends him back to the lobby quicker than he can ever disconnect. Remember guys, you don't have to build fast. It's efficiency that counts. The fastest builder in the world doesn't always win. Vivid showed me how great a methodical builder can be. Watch this next engage. If I didn't tell you that it was Vivid, you'd have no idea that it was him. He pushes recklessly into a tunnel system. It's risky because you have no idea how many players are hiding in there. Well, let's see how this plays out. Our textbook player puts down the book and learns how to W key. Even with some plane interference, Vivid pressures his opponent relentlessly. The plane actually helped him get a few free shots in. I like how he still covers himself while W King. Don't worry, it's still Vivid. He just wants another point. The good news is, is that Vivid picks off the kill after a strange edit from his opponent. The bad news is that Vivid is now sandwiched. The plane man has landed and a new challenger approaches. I like what Vivid does next. He builds immediately to high ground and is rewarded. Both players need to change their game plan. Vivid has control. Nice Tifu classic right here. Vivid is back to reading his book. He's low on shields and between two players. Most players would not turtle up here. They would have dropped. Instead, he sticks with his slow, methodical playstyle. He just drops a level and heals. I like the window peaks here. Every bit of damage matters. He catches a break here. One of the players gets rocked. It's down to a 1v1. Vivid instantly sprints to high ground. Not entirely sure what the trap was, but man, that edit mistake was pretty costly. Yeah, I told her here too. Wait, that player really just dropped down, didn't he? Well, well, that's one way to lose the fight. There's always a time and a place to go ham. You know, show off those six skills every now and then. Vivid sets up for late game with a pretty funny argument. You can guess who he's talking to. Okay, so that, that you're going to listen that's... to the guy who plays 18th and the guy that plays second. I mean, I'm okay. Just... Yeah, well, in the qualifiers, I placed 11th. He placed in the, like, the 6th. You guys were in the easier heat. Uh... Look at this, guys. This man is a boss. He landing digs on everyone, shooting at anything that breathes. 
But you know why he's doing this, right? He got pretty lucky and he set up in the zone first. Look how much work you can do if you establish a position early. Everyone else has to come to you. Wow, that was a pretty quick push. He's an easy trap target, but the psycho gets away with it anyway. It's all right, he quickly becomes that textbook player again. Look how calm this guy is. He just walked out of a cone and a trap. Look how he actually takes advantage of high ground. He knows players have to rotate through him. His back is to the zone. Even though he missed some shots, he was still a nuisance for the entire lobby. Ooh, that kid is definitely mad. You know, in all honesty, I think the launch pad won divot this game. He had an easy rotation to one of the last zones and didn't have to use any mats. He even lost high ground on a push. <laughs> Good old Harry Potter rearing his ugly head. My guy doesn't panic and utilizes the deagle to the fullest potential. My goodness, look at that deagle. Again, he always looks to rotate early. He wants everyone to come to him. He gains a ton of real estate and just sits again, harassing anyone within reach. Good lord, look at that bait. This is a 200 IQ play that I've straight up, to be honest with you, I've never seen before. He placed his own getaway route and waited. It was as if he knew what his opponent would do. What a stylish way to earn his 11th kill. The textbook is back. He should be able to win this game with ultimate high ground, but still, he plays it slow and actually makes a mistake. But in all honesty, it doesn't matter. He maintains high ground and rocks with the Tfue Classic to claim the victory royale. Our last clip showcases Vivid playing in an EU pop-up cup with 72 hours. This one is for everyone that complains about their ping. Vivid and Mystery Man are dominating a high point lobby with 100 ping. Hey, let's get right into the nitty gritty. Vivid's loadout is insane. The most important piece is his rocket launcher, which is probably going to win him this game. He has to push because the storm is closing in and he has no intentions of being gatekeep. You know how I always tell you to follow your rockets with AR shots? This is why. At this point, Vivid is playing the supportive role, which is working really well since Mr. Anonymous is going hard in the paint. Nice, Vivid saves his teammate from a thirst kill. Let's get through the boring parts and listen in on their plan. We have to jump pad launch. height, probably. Yeah, launch pad on them. Here, here, here. Shoot an RPG, then let's launch. Their rocket plus launch pad strategy is extremely simple. Yet, I've never really seen people do it. I mean, it worked, so we should try it out and see if it works in our own games. At this point, they have free high ground since they took someone else's one by one. No one is going to really look backwards when the storm is closing in. So I really like Vivid's approach of just lasering people out. I also really like how 72 hours built the bare minimum to retain the high ground and he starts branching out from there. This is pretty much undisputed high ground. And look, even if they got shot down, the fall isn't very far. This is the perfect use of high ground. Hey, listen to this communication. You go bottom right wall if possible. Got him. Got nice, good shit. Something as simple as telling your teammate which wall to hit can easily secure kills. Vivid literally makes a heads up play and he looks above him for players casually ripping overhead. Vivid makes the right call and he starts shooting. Surprisingly, Vivid whiffs all of his shots. Everything we've seen from Vivid indicates that he's a control-oriented player, so you know, it makes sense that he plays defensively. Something I've noticed is the conflicting play style. 72 hours went in and Vivid turtled up. They don't get punished for their conflict of interest because their opponents decide to build to Narnia. Super high ground doesn't do much for you. I always talk about that and it's even worse in late game situations. Vivid and 72 hours make the standard play of securing mid ground. At first, I really questioned this call, but it played out very nicely. Right when they hear the player rift, 72 hours drops down and gets a pick. Now they know the rest of the lobby's on top of them. This is where the low ground call comes into action. Look at how flimsy the high ground is. The duel up there have no time to reinforce or drop down safely. That's an easy two kills and proof that going for 20 stories of high ground is nothing but a safety hazard. There's one player left and he's trying to buy as much time as possible. I'm starting to see traps being used this way a lot more often. It seems troll, but it won 72 hours high ground. All I'm seeing here is the classic one high one low tactic and there's the win. Again, I wanna remind you guys that they're playing at 100 ping. It's actually ridiculous that they can pull wins like this off. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. Hey, I got some great, awesome news. Pro Guides is now free. Go check us out in the link if you want to get better at Fortnite. And also, do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Let us know which pro player you want us to analyze next. And if you want to connect with me, I would love to hear from you personally on my Instagram. Hey, stay tuned, guys, for more videos coming out every week. Once again, I'm your host, Keith Allen. Here we